The Anambra State Government and her development partners have commenced the two-day workshop where they will design a strategic work plan for an effective, efficient and robust creative economy in the state. The event tagged Anambra State Creative Economy Consultative Value Chain Mapping has ended in Orca. Eight representatives of ministries, departments and agencies discussing how to map the various sectors in the creative economy such as film and video, fashion design and modeling, music production and distribution and content creation. Correspondent Chibuzo Obidike reports. Declaring the conference open, the Commissioner for Culture, Tourism and Entertainment, Mr. Don Onyeji, stated that the conference will help the state government assist all sectors strategically to fully tap each of their potentials. According to Mr. Onyeji, the event attended by participants from government and the private sector under one roof will establish the backgrounds, engagement and take decisions on the expectations of the government to ensure that creative sector in Anambra is fully mapped. He appreciated the partnership with Technology for Social Change and Development, Tech for Dev, and assured of the continued partnership of the state government to ensure full implementation of the communique realized from the conference. is to establish the background, the foundation for engagement. So today, we have uh, taken decisions on what we think the government should do to ensure that the creative sector in Anambra State across port are mapped out. And the role of government and the role of the private sector and all of that. For the senior researcher and policy manager at Tech for Dev, Mr. Emmanuel Umukoro, their vision was to equip Africans with skills that foster economic prosperity, financial freedom, and sustainable development in the area of digital technology. Mr. Umukoro explained that it is their mandate to ensure that while they build the capacity of people to use technology better their lives, they will also ensure that right policies are in place for the businesses to thrive and described Anambra as hub for creativity, saying that the state is ready for more investments to strengthen the creative economy. While in paper presentation, the research policy lead Tech for Dev, Ms. Victoria Oletu, said that the agency seeks to create opportunities and platforms for people to assess decent work and entrepreneurship through digital skills empowerment. She pointed out that the creative economy is an important sector of the economy and as such there is need for broad-based research to understand its benefits to youth and women and its challenges in order to better position the state to take advantage of the evolving sector. What we do is a lot of capacity building intervention, uh, policy intervention, we do advocacy, we do research. So essentially our work is to make economic opportunities available to Africans and for us to be able to do that we build capacity for people using in the area of digital technology, right? Um, digital skills. The participants we are during the conference group into teams where they are expected to identify factors, solutions, mitigating against capacity building and talent development, infrastructure technology, funding and institutive and internal NDA collaboration in the state and preparing ground for a fruitful engagement with private sector in Oka, Chibuzo Bidike, ABS News.